Majestic trees and colorful flowers need to move over a bit because the unsung hero of the plant world has emerged from the shadows. Moss, the humble green carpet of nature, is not to be underestimated. In a new study, scientists have finally cracked the moss code and revealed just how crucial these tiny botanical wonders are for ecosystems worldwide. Researchers scoured over a hundred sites across eight different ecosystems on a moss hunting expedition that would make even Indiana Jones envious. Their findings reveal that moss cover an astonishing 3.6 million square miles, which is equivalent to the vastness of Canada, eh? Now, what makes these mosses so unique? Well, for starters, they don't have the fancy plumbing system that ordinary plants feature. Instead, these cheeky mosses survive by cleverly sipping water from the atmosphere. Think of moss as nature's own little water-absorbing sponges. Some mosses, particularly those found in the dry regions of Australia, have mastered the art of survival. When the going gets tough and water becomes scarce, they don't perish like other plants. Instead, these mosses curl up into a tight ball and enter a state of suspended animation. They go into the state similar to hibernation. Scientists have even studied mosses that have been chilling in a packet for a whopping century. They gave them a splash of water and voila, they spring back to life, defying the laws of plant decomposition. But what about their impact on the environment, you ask? These green superheroes play a vital role in nutrient cycling, giving elements like nitrogen, phosphorus, and organic matter a serious boost. Their soils were compared to non-mossy soils in the study. And let's just say the mossy ones were way better. They very efficiently juggle nutrients and store away massive amounts of carbon, a pesky element that causes trouble when it overloads our atmosphere. But here's the moss icing on the cake. They're also great at keeping pesky pathogens in check. The scientists found that areas with moss had fewer potential plant diseases lurking in the soil. Now, let's talk about the landscaping skills of moss. These tangle-rooted plants are nature's soil engineers, holding everything together like a green construction crew. Their shallow roots create a stable surface for a large array of plant life to flourish, paving the way for complex ecosystems to thrive. When it comes to places where trees fear to tread, like deserts and tundras, mosses step up to the plate. These resilient organisms dominate these challenging environments, providing much-needed biodiversity and life where trees dare not venture. High-density mosses create lush mats and turfs that contribute to the richness of the soil and ecosystems in these seemingly inhospitable regions. There's one last trick up the moss's sleeve. After major disturbances, like volcanic eruptions that leave the land barren and desolate, guess who's the first to make a comeback? Alongside resilient cyanobacteria and algae, mosses quickly colonize the unlucky landscape, kickstarting the process of regeneration. Some mosses are total light superheroes, too. That's because they can rapidly adapt to low light conditions. They even have an audacity to grow in caves. One particular moss species is dubbed the dragon's gold. This moss knows how to put on a show, shining bright in a stunning emerald green. How does it manage to be so luminescent, you ask? Well, first off, we have the protonema, these amazing thread-like structures that sprout from a moss spore. Inside these little wonders, special cells gather together like a mossy team huddle, making sure they soak up every bit of light that's available. And if that wasn't enough, some lens-shaped cells participate too, giving the light a little focus. And shine they do! When light bounces off, it creates a mesmerizing green luminous glow. It's like having your own personal light show, courtesy of Mother Nature. It's so incredible that some people in Japan decided to make a natural monument dedicated to this plant. Mosses aren't just here to make caves look magical. They're also great homes for some pretty cool critters. Take the spotted turtles in Ontario, Canada, for example. When the weather hits with its frosty fury and temperatures drop to insane lows, these turtles cozy up under a type of moss called smagnum. Thankfully, you don't have to travel to Canada to see these amazing mosses in action. You can also find them in the UK. Smagnum mosses are like spongy carpets, covering the ground of heaths and marshes. 
One study focused on plant evolution also claims moss was the very first plant on Earth. Well, at least technically. Back in the day, Earth was like this bare, bald planet with no sign of those lush green locks we're so accustomed to. No shrubbery, no trees, not even a smidgen of grass to break the monotony. Initially, scientists thought that the first plants to venture onto land out of the Earth's waters were a bunch of simpletons. However, this piece of research flips the script. It turns out those early pioneers were far from basic. They were actually pretty complex. As it turns out, amidst the barren expanse, these amazing plants, namely mosses, hornworts, and liverworts, emerged as the true pioneers of plant life on land. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, aren't liverworts those slimy, squishy things I find in my garden after a rainstorm? Well, yes they are, but don't let their unassuming appearance fool you. While some consider moss to be a nuisance when it comes to their gardening preferences, it can actually be a fantastic addition to your outdoor oasis. The best part about having a mossy garden? You have complete control over how it looks. You can grow moss as a surface base, perch it on a ledge, or even attach it to rocks for that authentic rainforest vibe. You can also bring the mossy magic indoors by growing it in containers, terrariums, or on green walls. Now, before you embark on your moss-growing adventure, let's talk about the different types of moss you can use. We've got Acrocarpus moss, a type of moss that grows vertically and has these cute little stems that shoot out like floral fireworks. It's delicate, so be careful not to disturb it or step on it. On the other hand, there's also another type you can use at home called Pleurocarpus moss, which is more like a fern and spreads wider, like a cozy carpet. This one can handle a bit of foot traffic and external disruptions. Why choose moss over mm. other types of plants? Well, first off, it's low maintenance. Say goodbye to those endless hours spent watering and tending to your garden. It can survive for months without water, and even if it dries up, it usually bounces back on its own. Unlike other plants that guzzle up water and rely on fertilizers, moss is content with minimal moisture and doesn't need any chemicals to thrive. So, not only will you be saving water, but you'll also be preventing harmful substances from seeping into the soil and wreaking havoc on Mother Nature. Moss is also a natural air purifier. When you grow moss indoors, it acts as a biofiltration system. It absorbs nasty particles, transforms them into clean air, and releases them back into your space. Now that you're convinced of the mossy wonders, let's talk about timing. The best moment to grow moss is in the early days of spring. That's when the sunbeams come in at a lower angle and the ground is still moist from the winter rains and snow. For indoor moss growing, the choice is yours. Just make sure to provide your moss with some access to sunlight and water and keep an eye on the temperature in your space. It might be a bit tricky depending on where your house is located or how much sunlight you have available. But don't worry, with a little bit of planning and effort, you can create the perfect cozy environment for your indoor moss to thrive. And let's not forget about the wonderful world of terrariums. If you want to create your own mossy miniature landscape, a terrarium is the way to go. All you need is a glass container, some pebbles, a dash of granulated charcoal, potting soil, and a piece of mossy carpet. And finally, remember to stay away from rolling stones. They gather no… well, you know. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.